Hello survivors, hello family and friends. This is Roy from Bootsy Sweetheart's Guide to Life and other disappointing experiences with a second video on uh, making a simple pouch. Store-bought, homemade, handmade with crochet handle and crochet embellishments. Stay with us and I'll show you how easy this is. Here is a beautiful uh, photo journal that my husband made of one of our trips. Beautiful, a lot of work went into this. It's a gorgeous piece of work. If, I, if he were giving it as a gift again, and we wanted to put it in a fancy bag, and we bought this bag at the store, it wouldn't fit. But if we take the time to use up some of our scraps of crochet yarn, um, and our creativity, we can make a custom size bag that fits our gift. And the bag becomes part of the gift. And uh, in this video, I'm gonna show you how I made this very simple but elegant bag. And just imagine, you can use any kind of fabric. Um, you may remember a previous video where we used some Easter fabric. Uh, and I made a bunch of felt bags like this to give Easter gifts with. Uh, very easy and I'll show you how we do it. First thing I do using a heavy fabric canvas or such um, upholstery cloth is just as good cut out two rectangles then I surged the edges uh, to keep them from unraveling so you have no raw edge um, showing and um, if you're using a regular sewing machine you can use the zigzag stitch. I'm just fortunate to have a nice uh, serger that I have a love-hate relationship with. Then I turned over the raw edge at the top of the bag twice and sew that uh, down. It's about a little generous quarter of an inch double and then uh, turn the bag out. And it's as simple as that. You want to use your trusty chopstick or if you have a turner, a uh, fancy tool, you can use that. Uh, I also press it to make sure the seams are nice and crisp. And I wind up with a nice little pouch, as good as, if not better, than the kind you get in the craft store. Only mine, uh, um, whatever size I choose, so it'll fit whatever kind of gift I want to give. And now the fun part decorating our little totes. Once you've decided how big you want your tote, you need to create this chains that will come down as the embellishments and a band around the top that will hide the ends of the chains. And it will also hide the ends of uh, a handle. In this project, I've decided that um, I wanted to have a crochet handle. Um, so you can go to your <laughs> your collection of chains, which this is just chains. I will use all of these eventually, uh, but I did look into my um, scrap yarn pieces. This is a great yarn stash buster, and I found two little balls of this uh, variegated color. They're pretty. I think they're so pretty, um, and you'll see how nice they are. So uh, I made I made, hold this aside a second, I made some chains, different sizes, different lengths, just to make the uh, design interesting and not uh, all the same size. So I'm going to put uh, maybe one here, take a longer one. This one's too green, so let me put this over here. Now maybe this one here. And I'll have three chains coming down with little embellishments down here. Um, so let me put this aside for a second. These three will go on the other side. Now what I'm going to do for my sanity, <laughs> so that everything is not... Isn't this cute? This is a was never intended as a pin cushion. It's just a Jeff Gordon NASCAR 
um, stuffed plush toy that was given to me, and I use it as my pin cushion. It's kind of fun. Uh, I'm, I'm putting in pins just to hold the tote steady so it doesn't move around on me. Um, this is a, by the way, this is a cork board with um, felt on the top. This is a brand new silicone mat that I bought. Um, works well. So what I'm going to do now, make sure this stays down. I don't want, you want everything flat if you can. This is not working here. Let me move this pin so it doesn't move. There we go, put it down here. I'm gonna use um, hot glue for this project. Somewhere I have a uh, silicone spatula, but I'll use the trusty chopstick for this. Put a drop of glue here as an anchor. Now I'm putting the knot right at the very top so that the glue picks up the knot. The glue holds the knot. Now what I'll do is I'll put a pin here to show me where I want the glue to end. And I'll just simply make a line of glue down to that pin and with my trusty chopstick press the chain into the glue and it's that simple that's how simple it is by the way this uh, thank you to Stacy Evans from Pink Poodle um, Facebook page and YouTube channel for suggesting this great glue gun which uses the smaller of the glue sticks as a nice fine point and you see how nice that places just a dot and this is not rocket science because um, it's not exact measurements you just use your eye to line up everything it's already looking pretty. Now you see what's why I, well, I'll show you in a second. Let me just get this done. Take this pin out. Now this is where I want the line to end. The line of glue to end. Let me get rid of this here. This is a great glue gun. Stacy has the, if you go to the Pink Poodle and view one of her videos, she has a, a list where you can buy this. Sure, Bonda. I have no contact for the. I think I bought it. Whatever her, oops, whatever her link was is where I got that uh, glue gun. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. I have probably four glue guns, five glue guns. Look at how nice. Okay. Um, let me put you back. Oh no, I need you. I'm going to put a dot of anchor glue there. Find the knot. This will keep the chain from unraveling at any point. This is a lot of fun, by the way. I don't know why, but it is. Um, put the pin here. That's where I'm going to stop. Try to line it up. You can see I'm a little off, so I'll move it over a little bit. Again, it's all by eye. Um, so don't uh, start your happy hour wine until you have everything laying straight here. I see normally, all right, now here I was chatting and not paying attention. For me, artistically, this is not good. Uh, there's really nothing I can do about it right now because I can't, no, no, I'm not going to fuss with it. All right. I'd want either a little bit longer or a little shorter here. This one should be short here. All right, so you get that far. Um, don't cut the bottoms. Ooh, hot glue gun, be careful. But you can cut the top threads, the top yarn pieces away now. And see already it's shaping up. 
Now, at, as we go along, there'll be um, this longer. Did you hear my Long Island G? Longer. <laughs> there'll be this longer top band that will cover that. See how pretty that will look? And then we'll embellish the ends one way or the other. So many ways to do that. So now I'll do the other side the same exact way. I don't know. This is the other side. You can see what I did here, which I should have done on the front, the first side. I've alternated the length of these crochet chains. Uh, here we are. So you can see, and I trimmed the top off. Now comes the decision on the handle. Because if I'm going to make a handle out of crochet, I'm going to probably want to um, hide the ends of that handle. So what I've finally decided to do is to make a handle out of double thicknesses of the yarn to make it, um, putting it in the wrong place, to make it a little sturdier, give it a little more meat. So the handle will be like this. It's kind of pretty. It'll go with it. And all I do with that, very simple, you know, you, we all do this. Um, if you're new to crocheting, just tie a knot in a double thread. And here I have, you can use two different colors, it doesn't matter. And for this, I have, let's see, this is a J hook, size 10 just like any other crochet. Uh, my big gorilla hands will attempt to show you. Just make sure that you pick up both strands. That's all. It's very, very simple. And then you decide on the size. Let's see. I'm trying to do this. And you decide on the size of... See how easy it is to pick up one, one strand? Just be careful you pick up both strands. And make it the length you need. In this case, I decided to make it this long. <laughs> Perfect. Now this is a little tricky because you're dealing with hot glue. So what I want to do on the seam, I want to put the knot of the handle. Now this is going to get covered, you'll see in a minute. Okay, put a dot of glue. It's a fairly generous dot because it's the handle. Be careful, be careful, be careful. Grab my trusty chopstick. Push it down. Yay! There we go. Just hold it a minute, you don't need it. It's it's really firmly stuck. Now, I'll show you this at another time, but the structure of a crochet stitch, I want to try to make sure that it comes over to the other side without twisting so that all the V's are straight up. So that's there. Did you see? I hope you saw how I did that. But I'll have more on that. It's, it'll come up often. Big dollop of hot glue, trusty chopstick. Are you there? Who's there? I don't... This is very weird to do this. If you haven't ever made a video, <laughs> you sit here and you talk to yourself, hoping that somewhere in the great beyond, someone is listening to you. Now you see this is not, it may look like it at first, but it is not twisting. And the next step is to crochet a chain that's at least as long, uh, long two times around the tote. Now this is obviously longer, longer, but I'll show you how we handle that in a minute. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a dollop of glue 
where the knot is here. Okay. Can you, did I, I hope you can see that. Should I zoom in a little more? Maybe I'm having such fun learning the technology. And I got this really neat computer. It's, the kids would be jealous of me because it's a, a gaming computer, but it has great video capabilities and a lot of memory. It has all kinds of flashy lights, which I could do do without. All right, so there. And then what I'm going to do again, oop, this guy's sticking up. Let me cut him off. You see that purple thing is sticking up a little here. You think the scissors are overkill? <laughs> uh, I'm going to put uh, pins in to hold this down while I put the handle uh, the um, band around the top just so that the tote doesn't move. So do little pieces, don't do too much. And it, you want to get over that knot again here because you don't, you don't want this to come off. And this is very, very sturdy once it's all glued down. Now here I'm putting the bumps up so I got to remember which side of the crochet stitch is showing. Okay, that's good. Then we'll go from here to there. Make sure I get that knot. Instant gratification with the hot glue. Here we are. Oops, oh goodness. All right, you won't see that. That looks ugly right now, but that'll go away. Hides a myriad of sins sometimes when it's a yarn. Now here again, we get to the handle piece. Now, I don't want to burn myself. So what I'm going to do is carefully Put a dollop of glue there and just hold this down and press it down with the chopstick. Now you can see why this is going to be sturdy because it's not only glued once to the um, tote itself, the handle, it's also glued to the band which is strong. Look how nice. I'm liking it. I love the colors. Here's where the <laughs> here's where the spaghetti comes together. Here's where the end of the um, banner, the border is, the band. Now what I should have really, I should have done is uh, I just sat down on the sofa and just crocheted to what I thought was going to be long enough. But you can pull out the crochet stitches, which is what I'll do here. Making sure that I don't know which end I pull is the end here. Well, we'll see. So I'm going to do what uh, is a terrifying thing <laughs> to do. I want to see where we are, which side of the crochet we are. Okay, this is good. This is good. We're at the end where the, the finishing end, the ending end. If you're at the beginning and you cut it like I just did, you pull it, the stitches will come out, which is really what I wanted, but I'll take this anyway. So I'm going to pull out the stitches. So all I'm doing is frogging, but reverse frogging. I'm just unknotting the crochet, crochet stitches so that um, I can have a tassel or a cord hanging down for another kind of embellishment. <clears throat> oh, wait, I made a mistake. 
this is the other end. Now see how I'm pulling it? Be careful though, you want to stop. In fact, what I will do is I will, before I pull out any more, I'm going to glue this down right here. And I won't regret this move for sure. Hold that. Okay, see where it is. Hold that. Now, let that cool. Otherwise, I will burn my fingers. I'm going to pull out a couple of stitches. Now, right here, I'm going to stop. And I'm going to re-knot. This is like the end, the last stitch whenever you're crocheting. I'm just going to knot it in here. The glue will stop it, but I want to just wear a belt and suspenders as they do in the farm country for double security. <laughs> and there. Now, here's what we've got. Can your imagination work on this? Isn't this nice? There's so many possibilities. Oops. <laughs> See, I need a director. Alrighty. So that's how we get the structure of this. And you've got these tassels hanging down. This side has more because it's the beginning and the end. And one of the things I was thinking of as I was doing this is maybe next time just make a band this wide and have the two tassels hanging down. Then flip it over and make the band that way, that long, and then flipping it down. And we'll have two um, yarn ends. So let's decide on how we want to embellish this pretty bag. Now to finish up our tote, I want to add a little glitter and glitz. What I decided on this one while I was away was to get rid of all the dangly dangles there. I'll show you in another video probably when I make another one some of the ideas for that. So all I did was put some hot glue to reinforce the knots so they don't come out. And my mom was the consummate crafter. She made all kinds of things, bazaars and things. And when she passed, I inherited <laughs> so many things, uh, little tchotchkes and glittery things. And I hate to part with them, but it, you know, I'm 72 years old now, so it's time to <laughs> give the stuff away or else I'm going to be sad when it all winds up in the dumpster. <laughs> But anyway, these are adorable little beads. Can you see how they're shiny? And I think you've seen these with the bumps. And the pretty little tchotchke thingies. And all I'm doing here is taking a needle and thread. The yarn and the needle will not go through the little hole. So this is pretty much standard process for this. I tied a knot at the end here. I lay the thread, the yarn rather, on top of the thread. Put the needle through the two pieces of thread right above the knot. Pull it, pull it, pull it. Make like a cinch. Oops. <laughs> What's happening is my fingers are sticky from the uh, hot glue. So it's not behaving. <laughs> it's like my every Saturday morning with the orange marmalade. No matter what I do, my fingers get sticky and I can't find the hole. Oh, there it is. So rather than fight with the yarn, trying to get the yarn through, I simply cinch the end and pull it through. Now watch the thread break on me because it's I'm showing off here. Now there we go. If the thread breaks, you start all over again. And then I'm going to pull this up 
not quite tightly because you want to have a little bit of play. And because this is a, a nice, shiny, white, clear bead, I can put a piece of a dot of hot glue there and you won't see it. And then, of course, we can let me let that glue harden first. Um, so pretty. What do you think? Turned out nice? I think it did. And here we are. Yeah. What I think a really nice gift bag. Wouldn't you want to get this royal jewel from the Queen's crown in a bag like that? Rather, I mean, please tell me, look at, would you want this million dollar, let me zoom out here, <laughs> would you want this million dollar piece of jewelry in this bag, or would you want it in a fancier bag? Now seriously though, if you, if you have gift cards, I mean, which is nicer, please. By the way, you can make these box bags easily. I'll do that in another video. Um, look at how uh, you go and put your, oops, I'm sorry, put your card in your bag. And now they have a bag to put more things in. So nice. Hope you enjoyed this uh, little fun exercise, mainly for people who are beginning to crochet. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Please um, consider sharing it, subscribing to the channel if you're not a, a member, and uh, giving a thumbs up. We have more fun projects on the way. Uh, again, thank you for watching, and bye for now.